peace be to you. Today we celebrate the memory of Saint Anthony of Padua, at the most popular saint. He was born in Lisbon in 1195. as a 15-year young adolescent, he joined canons of St. Augustine, a monastic way of congregation and lived over there. Since his calling was so outgoing, wanted to preach the gospel of God to the people, he went out of that order and joined the Franciscan order newly started by St. Francis of Assisi. And he was sent by the congregation to Morocco as a missionary. Because of his ill health, he came back again to the place. St. Francis appointed him as a professor of theology in the seminary. He was a great preacher. He was appointed to preach against the heretics at that time. He was called the harmer of heretics. This great saint, once he was praying in his room for a long time throughout night. He had a great vision of our Lord. As a child, sitting on his palm, speaking to him, the word of God spoke to him as a child Jesus. This vision was seen by his own friend Satunaf and when Saint Anthony was known that his friend had seen the vision, the great light filled the filled his room, he advised him not to reveal this vision until his death. So this vision was revealed only after the death of Saint Anthony of Padua. At the age of 36, he died in 1231. And in 1232, his friend Pope canonized him, inspired by so many miracles that he had done during his life and after his life. He was a great saint. He was a pattern for lost things, lost articles, diabolic possessions, married couples, women, minor people, sometimes fever, so many things he was the pattern. So he was the most popular saint in India who is a pattern for diabolic possession. People flock to him because he was so much intimated with the father and the son. He had a very close relationship with Jesus Christ and God had given him lot of grace to do lot of miracles. Let us thank this saint. Let us imitate his character of reading the word of God with a deep devotion and praying to the Lord, getting his grace and in turn preaching the gospel to the people. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this great saint who taught us the word of God. Help us to imitate 
his powerful character of learning and preaching the word of god so that we may have a great life through the intercession of saint antony of padua we ask this through christ our lord amen